good morning children how are you fine very good do you know about our body our body has many parts some parts are on outside of the body such parts are called the external organ say some example of external organ head eyes ears nose lips legs and the fingers this is the external organ there are many parts inside of the body such parts are called the internal organ say some example of internal organ heart lungs brain kidneys okay today we are going to see about organ system what is an organ a group of organs that work together as a biological system to perform one or more function that is called the organ system there are eight main organ system in our body what are they first system digestive system respiratory system circulatory system excretory system muscular system skeletal system nervous system and the reproductive system now i am going to teach about digestive system we eat food complex compound like carbohydrates proteins fats converted into simpler molecules glucose amino acids fatty acids and glycerol this is a complex compound this is a simpler molecules this is carbohydrate protein and the fats this is a kinds of nutrition carbohydrates contains rice wheat and potato protein contains milk egg fish and sprouted seeds fat contains cheese butter and ghee this complex compound converted into simple molecules is called the digestion carbohydrate converted into glucose protein converted into amino acids fat converted into fatty acids the simple molecules assembled by either blood or lymph the simple molecules assembled by either blood or lymph this process of conversion to complex food molecules converted into simple food molecules is called the digestive system there are 
two types of digestive system the digestive system divided into two parts one is the digestive tract or alimentary canal another one is the digestive glands digestive system it is a coiled muscular tube it is a coiled muscular tube extending from mouth to anus it is about 6 to 9 meters long consist of many specialized division next digestion start with the mouth the food we eat chewed well by our teeth the mouth secrete the three pairs of salivary gland one is the parotid gland another one is the sublingual gland submandibular gland parotid is the largest salivary gland these three pairs of salivary gland secrete the 1.5 liters of saliva for every day the chewed food mixed with the saliva here digestion take place it travels through the esophagus to our stomach esophagus or food pulp esophagus not yet digestion take place next stomach stomach is a thick bag it is a made up of muscles j shaped organ here food mixed with the enzymes pepsin renin gastric lipase next pancreas produce pancreatic juice liver produce bile juice this enzyme mixed with the enzyme digestion take place at the time the food turn into the liquid the liquid the food falls through the small intestine next is small intestine it is the length of 6 meter here food complete digestion take place complete digestion food absorbed into the blood next large intestine the food cannot be digested or unabsorbed food reaches the large intestine it is the length of 1.5 meter next anus anus the waste is thrown out of our body through the anus this is called the digestive system what is the length of the alimentary canal 6 to 9 meters what is the length of small intestine 6 meter what is the length of the large intestine 1.5 meters which is the largest salivary gland Parotid is the largest salivary gland. How do we breathe? We breathe through our nose. How many lungs do you have? We have two lungs. So the lungs are the respiratory organs. Now respiratory system. What is respiration? Respiratory system provides oxygen to the tissues. To our body. Carbon 
dioxide remove the tissues is called the respirative system there are three major part of respirative system what is the airway second one lungs third one muscles of respiration first one airways the airways include nasal cavity nostrils pharynx larynx and a trachea it carries oxygen between the lungs and the surroundings next lungs the air travels nostrils to lungs through the nasal cavity pharynx larynx trachea it finally the lungs reaches the bronchi the what is this this is a lungs lungs is covered with a flora it is located in the chest it is a pair of sac like organs it help us to breathe it protect by rib cage when we breathe in the lungs expand when we breathe out the lungs contract when we inhale we take oxygen when we exhale give out carbon dioxide this process is called the breathing third major for muscles of respiration muscles of respiration includes diaphragm and the intercostal muscles diaphragm and the intercostal muscle they act as push and pump the air in and out of the lungs during breathing respiratory system starts nostrils nasal cavity pharynx larynx trachea bronchi bronchioles alveol how many times we breath for minutes we breath for 16 to 18 times for minutes which organ help us to breathe lungs which help us to protect our lungs Thank you children we will meet next class